Hey everybody, how are you doing this morning? Today I'm doing a, this one's a um, power scrap and I'm using the Four Seasons P13 Spring Collection. I don't have very much of this left because um, I actually made a 8x8 mini album. I guess you could still call that a mini album, can't you? Um, and it turned out beautifully. Absolutely. I have got a soft spot for P13 papers. Man, they just look stunning. And the quality of papers, they're almost a cardstock. They're that thick. Like, I just, oh, they're luscious. I just, yeah, they're just beautiful. So I decided to scrap two photos of my, um, this is my middle child. This is Angela. Now, I know you're looking at this right now going, why is she using a finger dobber to do that? I was doing that because I've used this finger dobber with ground espresso. Just did my, blah, 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 start again. My ground espresso distress ink. And I thought, I'm, I know it's nearly dead, but I thought I'll just get a little, that last little bit of ink out of it. And I can tell you, it died. It's dead. There will be no further inking done by that finger dobber. It's actually perished. Like, and it's, it's not the dobber's fault. It's the way that I run it along the edge of papers. So, of course, it cuts into the foam. So, so I switched over to my other dobber later on. Now what I'm doing here is I've left the white edge on my photo and this is another way you can cut down the bulk on your pages. I realise we all love layers, we all love all the bits and the bobs and the tears but sometimes when it comes to our albums to give our albums spines a fair crack of the whip we have to we have to think of ways that we can lessen the weight in the album. So I'm just showing you there. See, I've just put a little bit of ink along the edge, the white edge of the photo. And I've found with the distress inks, they, I haven't used the oxides doing that, but the distress inks themselves, they don't bleed into the photo or anything. Like it, it just literally stays and it dries perfectly. So it's really good. So here I swap over. And I use my, I'm using a dome blend up purely because that's what was on the end of this and, and it was clean and new. So I decided to use that one. So I'm, what I want to do with this is, as you can see to the left hand side of me there, I've got very, very little left. So I had two options. I could... I considered cutting the paper in half so that I could make two pages with the florals or I could go to town and see how much of this I can smash onto one page and still look pretty. So that is the option I took. Second option. I don't always do this but so what I'm doing here, I'm just, I have the exact same flower that I've fussy cut. And all these are fussy cut, by the way. With the P13 papers, I don't get, I don't buy all the bits. You know that. I prefer to fussy cut and utilize what I've got rather than, um, I needed to make that into one piece, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. I needed to make it into one piece so I kept things straight because otherwise I think if the photos are crooked you got no hope. <laughs> I if if you're intentionally making them straight, which is what I was doing. I tell you what, I love these foam squares. These are the ones from if you're an Aussie, they're from Craft Online. I well, I get them from Craft Online and they're called the stick master foam dots and squares they're so affordable they're like a dollar 49 and man they're good they are seriously sticky i love them 
So then I pulled out my art glitter glue and I went to town. With the things that I've fussy cut, I wanted to bring a bit more yellow into the page because there's very, very minimal touches of it and I love yellow. I know, I'm one of those weird ones. I love me a bit of yellow. Uh, I hear people say it. I, hear, I don't know if it's just the people that I follow, um, but they're not a fan of yellow and they're not a fan of, um, what was the other colour? Um, oh, someone said purple. Admittingly, she doesn't scrap girls, but for myself personally, I dress my babies. <laughs> Hang on. Just, just bleeding hearts for a second. Did you see that wood grain? I actually wanted to slot that in behind the photos and I forgot. This is where, see, I have my working tray next to me. You can see it sitting there. But because I had pulled out some bits and sat next to the tray, I started adding those in first. And bingo, I forgot. Here's my Brad's. I've actually used Brad's twice this week. Isn't that a miracle? I mean, I don't use them very often, but I am going to do a page that I've got a I've got a Brad page in my mind, and I've actually had a lady ask me about them and see what I can do on a page with them rather than just using them in the ends of tags. So, keep your eyes peeled for that video. And I also have another video coming up. Um, one of the next ones is super, super, super busy. Look at this little duck. Can we just take five and check out this cute little duck? He was, there was only two in the entire pack. And they were on a, like a journaling card, but it was an oval and it was on green, which... I haven't, I'm not leaning towards green. Yes, there's foliage, but I, I wasn't leaning that way. So I fussy cut him out. He had to go on the page because it's just the cutest little duckling. Oh, bunnies and ducklings are just, oh, they're so cute. Kind of like why I have chihuahuas, believe it or not, because they're just like puppies. They stay like, okay, mine's grumpy as, but my daughter's chihuahua beautiful. Mine, wow. She has got some serious sass, let me tell you. So what else have I done on this page? Get back on track, Karen. Okay, so I've told you I used the P13 Four Seasons collection. I bought the 12 by 12 pad, so that's what I used. This is just leftovers, and I knew I could use it on some baby photos, so did that. Now, I also use on this page, so these are the foam squares. What I'm doing here is these are just little bits that I fussy cut and I'm just sort of tucking them in to sort of fill out that flower cluster that was literally just all on its own. Um, and this is, oh, this was so frustrating. This is what I hate with your older supplies. So down the bottom, in the bottom tag, I have a white brad and it worked perfectly. A gloss white brad. So I thought I need to put one in the top tag because I didn't move it over far enough so you couldn't see that bit. I didn't have another gloss white brad. So, and because enamel dots seem to be much more popular, um, I just haven't bought any brads. So, whoops. What I've got here, these are my, um, these are creative memories. They're eons old. I don't even know if they make them anymore. As you saw with my hands clenched then, there's a reason why I don't buy letters like this. I like to buy them all in one colour because you run out of a colour and it is so annoying. I wanted to do this in capitals, but I couldn't because... Of course, there was not enough pink ones. And I wanted to use pink because I didn't want, I wanted it to look more sort of watermarky. So there's, 
the title there, you can see it's there, but you look at the photos and you look at the florals before you look at the title. And if you're a subscriber that's been around for a little bit with me, you will know that I usually make my title big and bold. But with this page, I decided try something different. So I made it sort of tone on tone. When you see it in real life, you can see it a little bit clearer. Like it is pretty, pretty clear. But it's what I, yeah, I think it works really well. Now, if you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. That just helps um, the algorithm recognize that I'm doing regular content and I'm pretty, I guess you could ask some of the other subscribers, but I come up with some different ideas. That's just the way my brain works. And I, yeah, I like to, I like to share. I, I want to, the reason I have my channel is to share my ideas, be them old or new. And I want to share them with people so they can either learn something new, try something new. Um, maybe they've not, not thought of doing that before. And yeah, so that's why I have my channel. So I would absolutely love, this Aussie would love nothing more than I have a goal. You want to hear my goal? My goal, I'm putting it out there. I would like to hit a thousand subscribers by January 1st, 2023. Do you think I can do it? I hope I can do it. I'm hoping. I'm going to bring you content daily. Every single day, I'm going to bring you a scrapbook page or a how-to or a review or um, a page that someone's requested. And that's what, that's what my pledge is to you. That's what I'm going to do. So if you've got any friends that you know enjoy scrapbooking, may, maybe they would like, not necessarily my style because my style is a little bit different to other people. It may not be my style, but it might be the little things that I do on the page that they might go, oh, hang on. Like here, I'm using the Liquid Pearls by Ranger and they are, I absolutely love them. I'm going to buy so, 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 so many more. Um, I absolutely love them and they add texture. You've got to be careful though because they smudge. Okay, so I will have everything in the description below as to what I used. I would seriously look at those pearls. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, I'll have everything below. As I said, if you would like to like and subscribe, that would be seriously appreciated. Leave me a comment below where you're from. I also love to find out how far my videos are traveling. Fantastic. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.